Hello guys, Max here from Artpiece. Today I'm going to share some short but very exciting news about footers in Jupyter WordPress theme. Some great improvements and additions are coming to Jupyter WordPress theme footers later this year. In fact, this will be the beginning of the series, a glimpse of the future, where we share a bit of leaked news from Jupyter product team about what's going to change and what's going to happen in Jupyter WordPress theme in very soon future. So let's get started. Let's get down to business. I'm going to show you how we can customize Jupyter footer, edit, add, remove content to it, and also change its visual appearance and structure. And then I'll tell you how we are planning to improve this experience. So right now in Jupyter, if you want to make a change for a footer like this, which is comprised of four columns, there are two different places, or to be more exact, three different places that we have to deal with. Uh, different kind of information. The first one is uh, Jupyter theme option and then the footer section where we have all these uh, settings including the column structure and that is you can see we have set four as four in our case and all the information about thickness, I don't know, border color and then gutter space, padding and margin. So we set all these settings here and then in order to fill all these four columns which in our case is one logo and then this content information, social networks, and other kind of content, we have to come to the widget section in WordPress appearance section. As you know, it's been like this for many years in, in WordPress. We have to come and define the kind of content we want to go to each of the, these columns. But first, we have to create widget groups like this, uh, which is like first footer widget area, second footer widget area, third and fourth, and then add and remove content to each of these groups of widgets. For example, in our case, we have one logo here that should be created by a text widget and a piece of code that we paste into it and that makes a logo in the first column. And then we have text and social media icons like you see here that should be added separately to this group. And the same thing for the third and fourth group, right? So we add the widgets in into these groups and then we come to the page options here. In this section, we have Jupyter widget options in the WordPress authoring area where we uh, decide all of, I mean, each of those uh, groups of widgets uh, goes to one of the columns. For example, the first column will get the first footer widget area. The second column will get uh, second foot, uh, footer widget area and so forth. So we create the widget groups and then we assign them to each of the columns here. So this makes it three different places that we have to deal with in order to customize the content for the footer and also change the appearance. So this is the first problem that might need some improvement. The second problem is that whatever changes we make to the column structure or the content of each of these groups any widgets added or removed to our footer and also the visual appearance that we set in the theme options, there is no way we can preview these changes. Now I'm going to share how we have managed to fix, I mean, improve this experience working with Jupyter footer and how we have addressed these two problems shortly. Okay, so in very soon future, you won't have the settings spread around the team. There won't be any team options. There won't be any widget manager like it used to be. All we will have to deal with is a panel right in the left uh, hand of the layout where we are working and we will edit the settings, whatever changes we make to the options and customizations we do, it will be immediately reflected in the preview pane right in the right hand in here. So in our case, it's gonna be footer, right? So we're going to find the footer, click on it, and then there will be this panel, including all the options that you use to see them in the theme options. So you can select the column structure here, and then you can change it to fixed or normal mode, and then you can do whatever customization you like to the appearance using the second tab, which is styles. So let's say we want to change the color of the text here in the second column, which will be like I guess widget text and then we want to let's say change it to the the weight of 500 instead of 400 and we want to change it from like a light gray to a darker gray like this and uh, you also have 
this very exciting feature that shows what it looks like in different responsive modes, including tablet and mobile. This is brand new, and you never saw this in Jupyter, and you're going to enjoy this as well. So let's switch back to desktop for now and continue customizing our footer. So this is how we change the color of this text here. Now, let's say we want to change the color of the entire container here. You're going to find the widget area container. Yes. And then we're going to change the color from this dark gray, maybe to a little darker gray like this. And that's it. As you can see, whatever change you make here, you immediately see it on the right side. And if you're okay with what you've done, you can confirm it and it goes immediately live. And if not, you can continue customizing or you can just revert back to what it was before you start editing. And that's it. So this was the problem of previewing that we have uh, managed to address like this. And the second problem was that in order to add content to the widget area, we used to go to the widget customization area in WordPress backend, right? And it was a serious pain, as you can remember. Now we have managed to bring everything about widget uh, customization in the same uh, customizer, which is exactly this part. You click on the widget section and then you will have different widget areas. You just click on the widget area that you require customization and then simply reorder the widgets. For example, I just reordered the widgets in the second column. So the social network are the first and then the, the contact information is the second. You can also add whatever widget you like. You can see there's a, a vast array of uh, widgets here. You can just select it and then you can um, add the options, whatever customization you require, you can, you can apply and that's it. So let's say in our case, we want to add one piece of text. So you just write the text here and you, you will find it. And you can just, if you want, you can add some title to it. This is a test title. And then the main content. Let's say this is a test content. I hope you will like it. That's it. So you can see it immediately reflects inside your uh, layout. And this is nowhere comparable to what it was before, right? I know uh, you will be as excited as we are when you start using this. So that's it. So how did you like the new feature? Does it solve any problem for you? Is there something else you want happened in footers in Jupyter WordPress theme? Let us know in the comments and make sure to follow more of the Glimpse of the Future series very soon. Thank you.